in class again. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, uh, my classmates already introduced uh, uh, something about the basic accounting concept. Now uh, I'm going to uh, bring you to the uh, how how we how we uh, depreciate the uh, tangible assets. Uh, basically, the tangible assets I mentioned is the PPE, which is the uh, property, uh, plant, and the equipment. And uh, mm, we, because we use the assets to generate revenue every year, so we have to, uh, in, in, in order to, uh, uh, in order to uh, make, uh, because in accounting we have an important concept is is the matching principle that uh, Kenny just mentioned. So, uh, so uh, the, uh, the depreciation of PPE is uh, an example of of the matching principle. Uh, and uh, in the following, I will use the, an example to introduce you how how we de depreciate the uh, tangible assets. Basically, uh, there are three method, methods we can use to uh, depreciate the PPE. The first one is the straight, straight line depreciation. The second one is the activity units of depreciation. And the third one is the decline balance depreciation. And uh, these three method, methods are commonly used in the real world. So I will talk to you how, how we depreciate the tangible asset in each year. Uh, suppose I own a store that uh, sell uh, uh, orange juice. So I have a, I have I, I buy a orange juice machine in the first year. machine in, in year zero. And the, the, the machine cost me uh, 11500 dollars. Also, uh, the, the, the seller uh, uh, charged me another, another price is the delivery and the installation costs. So the total cost for the uh, orange juice machine is $12,500. So in the first year, I have to recognize uh, $12,500 in the balance sheet for the PPE. And in order to depreciate these assets, I have to estimate uh, how long I will I will use this machine. So for, suppose I suppose I uh, estimate it, I will use it for six years. Then and uh, uh, I expect that in the end of the sixth year, the machine will cost five. Uh, $500. So it is the residual value. And uh, the, the, the bottom column, uh, I estimate in the, during these six years, uh, I will use this machine to produce uh, 240 and uh, 240,000 glasses of juice. Then uh, if I I remember that the first method of uh, depreciation is the strain line. So uh, from the name of the method, we know that we depreciate 
the machine the same uh, for every year. So uh, we have six years. So in the end of the first year, how do we calculate how much we should depreciate for this year? First, we, we know the cost is 12,500 12, dollars. We have to uh, be, uh, minus the 500 dollars from here. This is our depreciation basis that uh, we will uh, depreciate this amount over these six years. So because we have six years for the so for every year we have we will uh, we will depreciate this amount. So it is two thousand dollar for the first year and uh, in the following year we depreciate the same amount. So in the uh, final year, we, we will depreciate twelve thousand, which is the depreciation base. Base. Then, uh, if we plus the the residual value, it is twelve thousand and five hundred dollar. It is the cost of my uh, juice machine. Then in every year we have to do a journal entry which is in, we will debit for depreciation expense. We will depreciate, we will debit 2,000 dollars. And uh, for accumul accumulated depreciation, we will credit uh, 2,000 dollars. This is the journal entry we have to make in the end of each year. So, uh, uh, you will do this journal entry for every method you use to calculate depreciation. So, uh, every company has the choices to, to decide which method they will use. But uh, because when I was working in a accounting firm, I found that most of the company is using the straight line method. So uh, this is the most commonly used method.
assume that it, it will produce more 